We're working on developing new techniques of 3D printing. My name's Clement Ekaputra. I'm going into my last year at the University of Pittsburgh studying material science. In particular, we're looking at polymers such as nylon, Kevlar, and Nomex, which are used heavily in industry because of their high strength and heat resistance, as well as composites containing polymers and carbon nanotubes. Does it look a little bit narrower to you? I guess. Can I pick it up? Sure. We have bubbles inside. So let me show you the ethanol, and I'm going to grab the allen key to throw this down. But before it's poured, you can wash this a little this whole experience is really new and exciting to me because I've never studied 3D printing before. I've never even 3D printed anything myself before. I've learned a lot of good research skills from my mentors, Cecile, Chang Hong, and of course, Professor Hart. So the purpose with the skill bar is that you can do the image processing later. Okay. In addition to 3D printing, I'm learning a lot about polymer chemistry and some topics I've learned about in school but never really had the chance to explore in person. Now what I'm doing is Blowing the solution. It's just Raynex, something you can buy at the store to make it a little bit more hydrophobic so we can get a better flow profile of our solutions through the channel when we're actually making the polymer. The thing we learned from last time is we change the flow rate. Start with two, maybe. That's good. That's good. Start this one. It's just some bubble, I think, that's trapped in there. Seems like there's a lot of bubble going on right now. Yeah. We just couldn't see the interface that well. Let's stop. See? I just need some polymers inside. Do you see it? Yeah, there's little strands of yeah, the polymer. Yeah. I've learned a lot about sharing research ideas, finding good questions to answer, and navigating challenges that come with doing research.